see if there's any way to keep raising the platform higher. We probably will need to find a mechanism that's like a lamp. Strange. Is that really the lesson that I know? You shouldn't always judge people based on the way you knew them before. People change, and people can always make different choices. Hmm. Dolan! It must have been trapped in the curtain, but at least it seems to be okay. It is a magical tent, after all. The inside is much larger than it appears from the outside. Haven't you heard stories with this sort of thing before? Yes, 
don't worry. We're almost to the top of the tent. The last thing we need to do is raise the crystal light to the very top of the tent. After the stage collapsed, I realized that having it raised only halfway makes it look a lot like the stage at the Grand Bazaar. Have any of you visited the Grand Bazaar before? No, I haven't. I have. I've gone there a few times with Master Tainari. The place is bustling with all kinds of vendors. And if you're lucky, you can see Nilu perform her dance. Oh, a dance from Sumeru? <laughs> I'd like to see that myself. Hmm. If only it were on the way back, then we could stop there. It doesn't matter if it's on the way or not. I would be happy to take you whenever you have time, Eula. Great. I'll take you up on that offer. Yeah! Hmm. Now that Paimon thinks about it, we've already been there more times than Paimon can remember! Really? My father used to help with festivities at the Grand Bazaar and would always give me candy during the events. I was just a kid and didn't understand anything. I was happy as long as he gave me some candy. To me, fairs and festivals were the best things ever. I always thought my father was amazing and wanted to be just like him when I grew up. But aren't you a scholar in the academia, Mimuna? As far as I know, scholars seldom could spend time doing anything but research. I doubt you could have time to assist your father in preparing festivities. Yeah, seems you read me like a book. When I had the choice between becoming who I wanted to be and who my parents wanted me to be, I ended up choosing the latter. But I was never happy about it. Huh. That's almost the exact opposite of Eula's situation. You must have already realized that. Why else would you set up all the booths here and make this place like a fairgrounds? Yes, but I'm still not as happy as I imagined I would be. I realized that attending a fair and running a fair are two completely different things. The main reason my childhood was so fun and carefree is because my family worked hard. But my father knew how difficult and tiring running a fair could be, so he wanted to push me towards academics. <sighs> but in the end, I didn't do well in either. I gave up on myself and resorted to investigating ley lines in the desert. Some things happened and then I accidentally ended up here. I finally had a chance to make my wish of running a fair come true. But after seeing everything come crashing down, I feel like I've lost the strength to go on. It's not as bad as you make it out to be, Mimuna. No need to feel so down. You have the courage to change, and you've been actively guiding us on this journey. Someone who's given up on themselves could never do these things. Oh, Kale. I understand my situation better than anyone. You don't need to try to comfort me. It's not that I'm trying to comfort you. It's just that people sometimes don't realize that their actions speak louder than words. Believe me, this is something that I learned from my time together with Eula. Oh, what are you trying to say? Oh, uh, <laughs> nothing. <clears throat> now, let's get that crystal light fixed. All right. 